Hello friends, so this is the third question related to logic implementation using Lord Universal Gates. So this is the Boolean expression. Here we have uh, taken a four variable expression. So far we have discussed only three variable expressions. So here we have introduced an extra variable d. Now we will try to implement it using NOR gates. So again, first thing that we have to do is to modify this expression using De Morgan's theorem into a format su such that it can be easily implemented using NOR gates. So we will take the double complement of y which will give us this. A complement E or C D complement the double complement. Okay. Now if we apply D Morgan's theorem, this D Morgan's theorem here, A and B whole complement is A complement b complement then we will get here this this portion will apply the de morgan's theorem it will be a complement b c whole complement or d complement complement then whole complement now we know the double complement of uh, any variable the complement the two complements will neutralize each other and get this now here we will keep the expression in this way okay don't worry about this uh, uh, and symbol here because what will happen is that if we uh, try to simplify it or we try to modify it further it will complement they complicate the whole expression because again it will be a cycle of uh, or to and and to or okay so we'll keep this expression here we will not uh, apply de morgan's theorem any further and we will despite this and symbol here we will implement the expression using nor gates and uh, you will see how i will do that okay so this is the expression that we are going to implement using NOR gates. So now we will implement this expression using NOR gates. So here the, the portion that uh, we will focus here is this A complement and B. Okay, let's first talk about this portion and then we will carry it further. A complement uh, and b how to implement it using uh, nor gates so what we have to do is that we have to apply the de morgan's theorem okay now we know that the de morgan's theorem says a plus or or b whole complement is a complement and b complement so we have to pass two signals in the form of a and b through a nor gate in such a way that the output will be this and we have to ut utilize this de morgan's theorem okay in order to avoid any confusion let's say x or y x complement y complement so we have to pick the values of x and y in such a way that the output will be this a complement and b okay so let us pick x is equal to a and y as b complement and let us pass them through a nor gate a and b complement 
then the output will be a plus b complement whole complement. Now if we apply De Morgan's theorem here it will be a complement and b complement complement. Now we know the double complement of any it gets neutralized so we will get this ok. So this is the logic implementation to get the portion this ok. So we have got this so now we can proceed further. So here to get B complement what we have to do is that we have to pass this B through a NOR gate ok this is B complement ok and we have got this A complement and B. Now we have to pass it this is A complement and B then we have to get this A complement and B or C whole complement. So we will take C and we will pass these two signals through another NOR gate and we will get us A complement B or C whole complement. Then we have to take another signal D the fourth signal and we have to pass these two signals through another NOR gate which will give us the required expression that is A complement and B C whole complement D whole complement ok. So this is the required expression. Now here the tricky part was may, maybe it not it's not that tricky it's this ok. So to get this expression in AND form through a NOR gate. So we have designed this uh, whole uh, expression ok. and uh, it took us 1, 2, 3, 4 NOR gates to get this whole expression.